Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the exchange of 14 days. Uh, for today's second video data will take us through the 23rd of May and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the exchange GFS and ECM ensembles. They run around a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at CFSV2 for June at the end of the video. I'll get time back for you in a moment. To say that the first video is today was our. Uh, was uh, Jamie Friday, so uh, please check out that one if you'd like to do that. And thank you so much, everybody. Please like, share, subscribe on the videos, and uh, and thank you so much. Thank you so much um, for doing that. At the end of this year, I'll tell you what's coming up uh, over the weekend. It's going to be an epic weekend of uh, content, so more about that at the end of the video. If I do anything else, I want to uh, give a shout out to uh, a couple of people who've given us more super thanks. So uh, thank you so much to Katrine, to Katrine Baso. Uh, for the super thanks, uh, Katrine saying uh, thank you, Gavin, for everything you do. I've learned a lot about the weather, and it is, and it is a great place to uh, share my passion and special interest. Thank you so much, Katrine. It's my pleasure. It's been my pleasure to be doing this uh, with Gaz Webber, you know, for the past decade or so. So no, no problem whatsoever. Thank you so much, Katrine. I'm so pleased that you are enjoying uh, the content and enjoying learning about the weather you know, uh, on the channel. Thank you so much, Katrine, also for your uh, super thanks donation as well. And also to Francetta, who said thanks. Thank you so much for the uh, donation, for the, uh, you know, super thanks uh, and comment to, to Francetta. So thank you to Katrine. Thank you to Francetta. Um, amazing, incredible. If you'd like to uh, give a donation to Gaz Weather through Superfanks, all you need to do is click the thanks button that is underneath all of the videos here on the channel now. Uh, click that and uh, then you can give a donation when you make your comment. It'll highlight your comment, it'll flag it up and, uh, and you'll get a mention in the video. Thank you so much to all of you for the kindness and the support. Amazing, incredible. Thank you so much and special thanks to Katrine. And also to Fran Setter, of course. Right, okay, so the session temperature is currently standing at 12.7, uh, which is 2.3 degrees above average. That is provisional to yesterday, to the 12th of May. Um, again, over 2 degrees above 6199 average, and even setting against more modern averages like 81 to 2010 and uh, 91 to 20. You know, uh, it would be warmer than average too. So it's turning into a very warm May and also turning into a very warm spring as well. <coughs> I'm so sorry, everyone. Um, these are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles uh, for the next couple of weeks. So the red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for London. Uh, so we're starting off above average at the moment. You'll see the temperature lifting up even more over the next uh, few days. So by early next week, we're going to be in a proper warm spell of weather. There is a cooling trend that is appearing now through the last week of May. You can see that the upper air temperature, particularly notable from the uh, ensemble mean, which is white line, uh, the upper air temperatures are slipping down towards the 30-year average as we go into the last week of the month. It's not going to be going cold, I wouldn't have thought, but certainly a bit of a cooling trend appearing there on the GFS 6 z Ensemble. Precipitation-wise, it'll be kind of dry weather over the next uh, two, three, four days. And then beyond that, we'll start to turn more unsettled. So we've been talking about this a lot in videos lately. Uh, it looks like next week not only will be quite warm, maybe even very warm, but also quite unstable. There will be volatility, which could lead to showers, longer as well as rain, and maybe you wouldn't rule it out, risk of some thunderstorms uh, as well. We'll know a little bit more about that. In a few days time just what the storm potential is uh for for next week but um but yeah warm and volatile next week and then the last week of may might start turning cooler still it's a little bit on the changeable side temperature anomalies from the 13th to 1st of may are coming out warmer than average as the above average temperature not just uk but through most parts of central and western europe too uh, precipitation anomalies from the 13th to 21st of May, wetter than average for more northern and western areas, but still driving average for more southern and eastern parts of the country. Latest wind from a map from Earth, Nolschool.net, shows up bringing a westerly wind today, and high pressure is beginning to strengthen just to our southwest. That high pressure will become more influential and pushes westerlies uh, northwards along with jet stream over the weekend. 
Right, so South UK Met Euro is looking uh, for Monday, so high pressure by them is up towards the uh, north in the Norwegian Sea. Low pressure coming in off the Atlantic, there's a trough moving in from the south and from the southwest. That might deliver some heavy rain, maybe a bit of thunder uh, on Sunday afternoon and Sunday evening. Into the middle of next week, we've got high pressure into our east, low pressure out to west, drawing up this southerly wind that looks very warm and unstable. And uh, right way up to the end next week, which is far as we get to, if you can make your gets us to uh, Friday, 20th of May, we've got uh, high pressure again, just to our south and southeast, lower pressure is away to the north and northwest. It implies a dry east weather, but not completely dry weather, will be in the southeast corner, the wettest weather will be in the north and west. GFS midnight run, again, shows that trough drifting northwards. Uh, on uh, Sunday into Monday. Very into the southerly wind, but more unsettled with the GFS midnight run. Uh, so uh, on Wednesday, midnight Wednesday, bringing this trough in from off the Atlantic back to Melbourne South, or along as well as rain, particularly to more northern and western areas. Winds is southwesterly wind then as we go through into uh, Thursday and Friday next week, and then high pressure starts to reach back up from the south once again. Into the weekend of 21st, 22nd of May, the high pressure dominates weather but situated just to our west, bringing something a little bit cooler and fresher around that high pressure from uh, the north. That takes up to day 10 as well. And then a high pressure really strengthening across the country in the extended range of Jeffers Midnight Run. Strong ridge of high pressure would bring lots of dry, fine and warm weather into the last week of, uh, of May. The closing days of the month, though, this gets us to Sunday, uh, 29th of May, but the closing days of the month takes high pressure back out into the Atlantic and pulls in this cooler and rather showery northwesterly wind once you get. Uh, this hour six days looking at this very latest GFS run. Again, this trough pushing north was on Sunday into Monday. Could bring some rain, maybe a bit of thunder into the south. And then through the early to middle part of next week, low pressure out the Atlantic is the dominating factor, bringing rain into the north and west of south. Because probably mostly dry and quite warm. But the GFS output is significantly more unsettled and not as warm as like the UK Met Euro uh, run was showing. Uh, that's how we're looking to get to the end of next week. So, low pressure to the north, bringing some showery weather into Scotland, mainly dry though, I would have thought down in the south. And then moving up towards day 10, which of high pressure sort of sent us out to our west, and we pull in this cooler northerly wind. The extended range keeps that high pressure centre to the west, so lots of dry weather, but rather cool as the wind comes around that high pressure uh, in a clockwise fashion. So, coming around the high pressure from like a northerly direction. Nevertheless, you know, it is. Um, it's late May, sunny, very strong. So when the sun's out, it will feel pleasantly warm, but certainly not like a heat wave type pattern there. If you enjoy this video, please smash the like button, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for everybody for doing that. Drop a comment, let us know what you can this and all of our videos. Thank you so much for doing this. Uh, right, the GM uh, again shows that we bring up this trough uh, sunny into Monday. I could bring some showers, maybe a bit of thunder uh, with it. Then through the middle part of next week, low pressure to the west, high pressure to the east. The most unsettled weather is in the north and west, and main dry weather is in that southeastern uh, corner. Now, as we go through to the end of next week and into the uh, weekend of 23rd, 22nd of May, the uh, GM starts to bring up some appreciable levels of warmth for the south. As we see there with the upper air temperatures, it's hot over France, and then as this low pressure develops to the southwest, Friday to Saturday, 21st of May, that starts to pull up that very warm to hot air. Look at the upper air temperature, bringing the plus 15 Celsius ice firm into England and Wales. But it is volatile. This low pressure would provide, you know, provide the uh, trigger potentially for, for heavy showers, probably for thunderstorms with the um, upper air temperatures as hot as that. So like a Spanish plume type scenario from uh, the GM. That fungi low then transfers to east of Scotland and pulls in a much cooler, fresher, northwesterly type wind by trying to get through Saturday 22nd of May. So it's a classic Spanish plume type weather. Hot air pushes northwards, triggers the fungi low, fungi low then develops storms and then most storms sweep away uh, the hot air and you see the hot air gets shunted off into Germany and we go into cooler Atlantic flow. Classic Spanish plume type scenario there from the GM. Bear in mind, GFS is going nowhere near that hot, and neither is the UK Met either, really. By day 10, we look like that. Bit of a ridge in the south, low pressure developing out to the north and west. And then finally, the link charts, the east center, you have again showing that fungi trough potentially pushing up from the south Sunday into Monday. And then early next week, we've got high pressure stories, 
low pressure west wind coming up from the south so it will be warm but there could be showers along as well as rain in the north and in the west in particular heading up towards the end of next week again just trying to generate this fungi low from Spain and Biscay and push it uh, northwards but it doesn't quite come to anything actually most of that heat and humidity and the fungi low gets pushed away to our east so just on the periphery of it but we could see some heavy showers and storm clipping into the southeast corner there with the uh, east it's not that far away from uh, the GM, actually. Um, by the time you get through the Saturday morning, we're going to cooler, sort of west, uh, northwesterly type flow, and then by day 10, which of high pressure building back up from the southwest once again. This is the precipitation forecast based on that ECM run from Temetio.com. So uh, there will be showery bursts coming up over the weekend, especially on Sunday. Could give some thunder into south and southeast, and more widely, perhaps, Sunday into Monday. Seen quite a lot of wet weather piling up from the south. That could be heavy rain, you know, longer swells of rain, outbreaks of rain, or it could be heavy showers and thunderstorms. We'll know a little bit more closer to the time frame. And all that wet weather trundles north will see the early part of next week. And then we've got more wet weather, this time particularly in the north and west, by the middle of next week. Some storms breaking out in that southeast corner too. More storms uh, clipping into the southeast as we get through to the second half of next week, potentially too. And then another dose of very wet weather, again, either longer spells of rain or maybe thunderstorms moving up from the south as we go through into the weekend of the uh, sort of 20th, 21st uh, of May. So quite a bit of wet weather around, you know, quite a bit of precipitation. So it's quite fact it's going to be warm next week. It does look as though it will be pretty volatile. These are the options on the table within the ECM Ensemble today for day 10, which will get us to the 23rd of May. 17 members of the ECM Ensemble will have low pressure to the north, and high pressure will be uh, ridging up from the south, from the southwest. Driest weather, therefore, will be in the south. Uh, uh, 13 will have high pressure to our west, low pressure to our east. That's bringing in like a cooler northwesterly type flow. Uh, 11 with high pressure reaching up to southwest, but uh, weaker pressure to the north and northwest. And then 10, including the control and the operation run, have a stronger ridge from the Azores. So actually, that idea of high pressure reaching in from the southwest around day 10, not that well supported by the UCM ensembles, actually. So it may be a little bit more unsettled, a little bit more unsettled than that uh, to day 10. We'll have to see. Uh, lastly, 732 for June. So these are 500 millibar heights. Break down into... Uh, no, what I'm talking about. Uh, lastly, 732 uh, forecast is June. This is 700 millibar heights anomaly uh, for June. I'm still getting back into the swing of things after having that month off, I think. Um, so, yeah, this is a 700 millibar heights anomaly for June from the 732 today. And we see we've got an area of above average heights over and to the east of the country, low pressure in the Atlantic. So this would be a, a, a settled high pressure dominated scenario for June. Also potentially a very warm or even a hot scenario with winds coming up from a southerly direction. Look at the temperature anomaly, it's looking quite hot in those red colours there, not just the UK, but through most parts of Western Europe. So a hot June, a flaming June even coming up. And uh, <laughs> precipitation normally show no signal, but you would expect with high pressure dominating over to the eastern country, quite a dry signal. Um, for you, we'll have to see about that. Right, if you've enjoyed the video, please can you smash that like button, make sure you subscribe to our channel, thank you so much for doing that, drop a comment, let us know about this and all of our videos, and don't forget to tell your friends to subscribe as well. Amazing, incredible, thank you so much everybody. Uh, for doing that, we are on the grind to 14,000 subscribers. I think it'll take you to the end of the year to get to that, probably. Um, but uh, the next mini target is like 13.4k. So if you can get us from 13.3 to 13.4k, um, it would be greatly appreciated. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. And thank you so much to Rich for the uh, subscribe gift. I gift. I love it. Uh, I love that gift. It's given us so many subscribers. Amazing. Thank you so much, Rich. Uh, right, okay, so we're done with today's video. Then just tell you what's coming up tomorrow. So uh, we're going to have the EC 42-day uh, slash 
six weeks to look ahead. We'll have a weekend forecast and a 10 to 14 day. And then on Sunday, it's back. We're going to have Gals Wear Sunday round for the first time in ages and ages and ages. Um, probably um, February or January. I can't remember the last time we did one, but it's a very long time ago. So uh, Gals Wear Sunday round will be returning on Sunday. We'll be looking at things like Sir Activity, Seaside Attention Anomalies, the QBO, the Quasi IBL Oscillation, and much, much more. Uh, as well as that, so uh, so yeah, big video coming up on Sunday. As again, I keep telling you, we bring back more and more of the content that you love. So uh, it's all coming back, and the next thing to get back will be the Sunday roundup, and that will be uh, coming up with you on this Sunday. Right, okay. You enjoy the rest of your Friday. We'll see you tomorrow for our videos. Uh, but for this one, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.